What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make NFL gear with napkins. That's right. Napkins. Regular paper napkins that you would use for like a birthday party or something. We're going to make some clothes with those. <laughs> this method can actually be used for anything, not just clothes. You can use it on shoes like I'm going to show you in the video. You can also use it on hats, scarves, you know, whatever you want to put them on, this method will work. So I'm really excited to show this to you because NFL gear is extremely expensive. Like I'm looking at the prices of this stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. And for a pack of napkins, most generally you can get them for like a dollar. So I'm just saying this is a more affordable method and you can put this on any clothes that you already have. So if you have a plain t-shirt and you want to turn it into your favorite team, Here's how you can do it. This is one way that you can do that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, all materials for this DIY are in the description box below. I'm just showing you the different napkins I'm going to use. So you're gonna grab one of your napkins and you're gonna fold it completely open and then you're going to cut out those four squares. Once you have all those cut out, you can decide what parts of the napkin you wanna use. I mean, I don't want it to be obvious I was using napkins for this. So I'm going to just take the logo and cut it out of there. So I'm just cutting out that circle logo there to put on this shirt. Okay, once you have it cut out, you decide where you're gonna put the napkins on your shirt. Once you've decided, grab your paintbrush, your fabric Mod Podge, very important that you use fabric Mod Podge for this, and then put the Mod Podge onto the shirt first, then place your napkin on top of the Mod Podge. And once it's where you want it to be, you're gonna go ahead and seal it with Mod Podge. And make sure it's pressed down pretty good because sometimes these napkins will lift up on you, so make sure it's pressed down really good before you go ahead and do your top coat. I do my top coats right away, but it's probably best that you should wait for it to dry first so that it doesn't move all over the place. And also, it says on the directions to use a very thin coat, but I find it works a lot better if you use a very thick coat. So, you know, you just play around with it and you decide what works best for you. If you do not want to see the Mod Podge, like how I went over where the napkin is, like, you know, there's a bunch on the shirt there, you're gonna wanna clean that up while it's wet. So just take a wet paper towel or, you know, wet rag or whatever, and just go ahead and wipe up the area around where you've placed your napkin so that you don't see any of that Mod Podge. But I find that most of it washes out once you put it in the washer, so I'm just not gonna worry about it on this one. I'm leaving it as it is. So once you've sealed that in place, you just set it aside and you let it dry. Now I'm moving on to the skirt. Now for the skirt, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to like overlap the napkins on top of each other. So I just wanted to include this in here to show you that if you're overlapping like I chose to, you're gonna wanna do it a little bit differently, but it's the same process essentially. So. Go ahead and place your napkins where you want them to be, which is what I'm trying to figure out right now. And once I've decided all of that, that's the design I came up with, thought it looked great, I pull everything off and then do the same process again. I'm just taking the Mod Podge and I'm just putting it onto the skirt. Now I thought that bigger brush was gonna work better for me, but it ended up being more of a pain in the butt. So I ended up going back to the smaller brush, but because I was covering such a big area, I thought that would work better, but it just, it wasn't working out very well for me. So I switched back to the smaller brush. So once you cover the entire area, just like you did before, go ahead and place your napkin on top of where you've done all of that. Now, if you did what I did here and you uh, didn't cover enough of the area, go ahead and place it in place and then just lift up where you didn't put enough of the Mod Podge down and then just, you know, put some down and then put the napkin back on top. That simple. Easy to fix the mistakes. But unfortunately, once the napkin's in place, like you really kind of have to use it the way it is because I find like some of it tears off when you try to take it off and replace it. So I just roll with it the way it is. Now, when you put the fabric, um, Mod Podge over top of your napkin, it's gonna crinkle up a little bit. Now, I like that look personally. I think that it looks pretty cool. So that's why I like to use napkins. But if you want a nice smooth, 
beautiful look and you don't want like the crinkly kind of look, then you might want to go ahead and just print off some logos and things with your computer and use regular paper. That way you're going to get a nice smooth finish, no crinkling or any of that stuff like you do with the napkins. So I would suggest just using regular printer paper, printing off whatever it is that you want to put on your clothes using the fabric Mod Podge. Just go ahead and put it on that way. So what I did here is once I put the sealant in place for that bottom one, I put my napkin right on top of that. When you're layering, just go ahead and put it right on top while it's still wet. So you're not gonna wait for that to dry. You're just gonna put that right on top, then seal it into place and then move on to the next one. So that's what I do when I layer these. And like I said, I add a lot of Mod Podge onto these. It says do a thin coat. I never do a thin coat. I always do extremely thick because I want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Now, I also want to point out that I purposely go outside the lines because I like the way that it looks. So again, if you want yours to be pristine and perfect and, you know, none of that out of the line stuff, then you're definitely going to want to clean up anything that's outside the lines with a paper towel or a washcloth while it's still wet because you will be able to see some of this when you wash and dry it. Not so much on the t-shirt that I just showed you, but this skirt and the shirt that I'm gonna do, for sure you're gonna see this once it's washed and dried. But again, I like that look, so that's why I do it this way. Also, they are going to need to dry thoroughly for 72 hours. So you're gonna to wanna to wait three days before you wash and dry these, but make sure they are, you wait the three days. That's really important because it takes three days for them to completely cure and be ready for the washer and dryer. So this is just the same process that I did with the shirt. There you go. That's the final design for the shirt. Gonna set it aside, let it dry. Now we're ready to work on the shoes after this. So once I get the Mod Podge all on this, I set it aside. Now we're gonna work on the shoes and we're using regular Mod Podge for this. You can use the glossy finish, the matte finish, whatever finish you want. You do not need fabric Mod Podge when you're working with shoes. So it's the same process though. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the Mod Podge on the heel of the shoe because I'm gonna go for sticking those football laces on the heel of the shoe. So you put the same process. <laughs> put the Mod Podge on the shoe first. Then you're gonna take your napkin, place it where you want it to be on top of the shoe. And again, I am using the regular Mod Podge for the shoes. You do not have to use fabric Mod Podge when working with shoes. Unless you plan to wash and dry your shoes, but I don't have any shoes that I can throw in the wash and dryer. So I always just work with a regular Mod Podge on my shoes. Works wonderfully. I go out in the rain, the snow, all of the stuff when I do these projects with the Mod Podge. So I'm just, you know, finessing it in place. You have to work a little bit differently when you're working with shoes, but you know, get it to where you want it to be, cut off any excess that you do not want to have on the shoe. And then just like before, when we did with the shirts, you're going to also want to seal this in place. So that's after I've cut everything away. I just take my Mod Podge and I seal it into place. Make sure you get the coat really smooth though. So this is just me showing you. I'm gonna put the logo on the side of the shoe there. Same process. Make sure you, you know, make sure you smooth it out really good. Like I said, that's very important to make sure it's completely smooth so you don't have any like clumps of glue showing up on your shoe. So there's the finished shoes. The shoes are completely done. I love them. I absolutely love them. I decided to go ahead and paint that inner part with brown and I love how it turned out. So this is the shirt before it's been washed. So that's before. This is also the skirt before I've washed it. And this is the shirt before I've washed it. I will do some terrible modeling at the end to show you the finished product. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to take your regular everyday clothes and turn them into some awesome NFL gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all of those things to help others find this channel so they can have some awesome NFL gear with napkins too. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to check out my channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye!
What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how that you can... No? What? <laughs> What's up gorgeous people? <laughs> what is that? Like the notification bell, like, share, do all those things to help others find this channel so they can have some awesome NFL gear with napkins too. <laughs> What do I want to say after that? That's it. That's what I'm missing. So there you go. That's how easy it is to take your regular everyday clothes and turn them into some awesome NFL gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Why can't I say subscribe? Bye-bye.